I was asked about my opinion on refeeds and weight loss, and an Instagram poll voted for a full video. Carb refeeds are commonly claimed as being able to spike your metabolism when dieting. Here are a couple of claims I just plucked off Google. So, here is the theory. There is a hormone called leptin which helps regulate appetite and body weight. When calories are reduced, leptin level may also reduce, which could make people more susceptible to weight regain. Now, pharmaceutical leptin administration has been shown to overcome some of these negative adaptations. You can also increase leptin levels by overfeeding on carbohydrates. So if subcutaneous leptin injections can overcome negative metabolic adaptations and carbohydrate feeding can raise leptin, refeeds should be able to promote weight loss, right? Well, no, unfortunately not. One study showed that overfeeding did raise leptin. However, the problem with this is when participants went back into a calorie deficit, leptin levels just returned to baseline. Not only that, another study that showed that overfeeding carbohydrates by 40% above maintenance calories for three consecutive days only raised total energy expenditure by 7%. This equates to just approximately 139 calories and 36 of those were explained simply due to the thermic effect of the extra food. So if you want to increase your metabolic rate by overfeeding, the effect you get is significantly smaller than the extra calories you just ate. However, there is some positive research on longer refeeds, which are commonly known as diet breaks. One study compared 16 weeks of continuous dieting to 16 weeks interspersed with maintenance periods. The intermittent approach resulted in more weight loss and less metabolic downregulation. However, the downside of this is the diet length lasted 30 weeks versus just 16. Now, outside of weight loss, refeeds may have benefits in terms of glycogen replenishment, which could help performance in the gym. And of course, helping performance in the gym could help improve body composition. However, this is still kind of hypothetical because a previous study excluded those who were highly active. Now, some people do notice faster weight loss after refeeds. However, this can be explained by increased caloric intake reducing total body water, which has been shown in other research. So at the moment, research just doesn't support short-term refeeds with regards to weight loss. However, I think it's plausible that they could improve gym performance and improve aesthetic appearance through glycogen replenishment. Now, there is also the question of refeeds improving adherence, but I don't think this is massively surprising. After all, it is more food. You could just distribute those calories throughout the week. So to summarize, if you want to reap metabolic advantages from overfeeding, you are probably going to need longer periods versus just single day refeeds. With a lack of research in this area, it may be best viewed as something that you experiment with yourself to see if it's something that you find favorable. Thank you.